Where is the passion? She is gone. Replaced by ugliness. You see, Laszlo, Mrs. Jerry, she's not a pretty lady. She's more like an offensive lion or a tight end. Big and hairy, but fertile. She gives Jerry five kids, but she's even bigger. Now, she's like a whole offensive lion. He feels no pride in himself. He has no pride in his marriage. He is ashamed of this wonderful lady who bears him so many young. And he comes to me, and he cries, Fernando, save my marriage. I love my wife, even though she is a fat worker. And I say, Jerry, you are a man. It is a man's duty to love his wife, even if she is like a farmer. And now, Jerry is saved. By sleeping with other women. Whatever it takes to save a beautiful union, a blessing. A beautiful union by a, an adulterer and Queen Kong. <laughs> That's great. So, uh, who's on the line now? Hi, Laszlo. Janet. I love the show and always wanted to call in. You really offended me today. Who is this gutter trash you got on the show? Hey, Janice, I share your anxiety. The studio kind of uh, forced him on me. Hey, you watch yourself, mister. And you, Janice, why are you so ugly? Your husband, he not make you happy? No, he's an idiot and a jerk. But he's probably a good daddy, and you sound very pretty. Angry and a little bit of a know-it-all, but very pretty lady. This is the thing, last one. The women they think in new beginnings is only for men. But no, it is for women too. For Janice, if her husband goes to new beginning, she thinks Senor Wonderful all over again. And in his dream case, maybe she come to work for me. And she get a new beginning herself. She discovered the excitement and the passion all for herself. This is Janice, you call me Cinco, 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 Nueve Dos, Nueve Dos. <laughs> now listen, don't try to pimp out my listeners. That is a very ugly word, a travesty. I work miracles, senor, not pimping. I say, I give the passion back. And you better wash yourself, buddy, because for my people, we take these insults very personally. And then, you no longer Mr. Toshio. You Mr. Who cut up my tongue. <laughs> Who are your people anyway? I uh, Lincoln and Ponds are personal injury attorneys. We can show you how falling down and how it is injuries don't wash out. We report you specialized work. You suffered an auto, bus, and drain accidents and can even train you to throw yourself in front of a bus and pretend to be injured. Hey, that's why they pay for insurance. Call the law offices of Rakin and Ponzer. And okay, now, this is a radio show. We don't have viewers. We have listeners. Uh, okay. Anyway, Laswell, I just wanted to make your viewers aware the first International Puppetry Festival is next month at the fairgrounds, bro. If you're interested in becoming a puppet master or a ventriloquist, you should definitely come down, dude. It's going to be totally killer. <laughs> I wasn't aware that there was much demand for puppet shows these days. And... Oh, man. Have you been living under a rock, bro? Guys with puppets get chicks. I take my monkey puppet to the park all the time. We play hacky sack together. It's rad. But anyway, dude, at the International Puppetry Festival, we'll be having workshops on finger puppets, too. I love Petunia the Pinky, me, Barry the Thumb, string puppets, club puppets. Dude, it's gonna rock. <laughs> okay, thanks. Hope to see you there, Laszlo. Hey, by the way, can you give me that guy Fernando's number? Nah, I'm sorry. Fernando hasn't paid his bill to our ad sales department. But here's someone who has. And they paid us in stacks of old groats and gold guineas. We'll be back after this. Do you live in the boring suburbs but dream of living in a lonely castle on a windswept moor? Do you long to trade in your sweatsuit for a hundred pound suit of armor and swap your SUV for a noble stallion? Do you eat microwave dinners? all the while wishing you were roasting a suckling pig at a pagan banquet. Is your next ideal home improvement a moat? Well, get ready, Liberty City! This weekend and every weekend at Liberty City Park, it's the Medieval Millennium Fair. Our band of traveling minstrels, knights, and maidens also fair are ready to delight you with tales of the Black Death, witch burnings, and the joys of being a feudal serf. Forget about air conditioning and modern medicine. We've got all the leeches, spells, and potions you need. Who's on the line? Close. What about them? Close. What are you talking about? Laszlo, close. Close, Laszlo. I hate him. I just hate him. <laughs> we're, all, we're all about opinions on shit. <laughs> <laughs> 